Every October, individuals from across the nation and around the world unite in a campaign to keep all youth safe from bullying. Here to talk about National Bullying Prevention Month is CJ Rice, educational specialist. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you so much for joining us, Cynthia. And okay, talk about this because again, it's very important. Um, Obviously, bullying very prevalent, unfortunately, mm -hmm. for our Keiki. So, what is National Bullying Prevention Month? Well, actually, National Bullying Prevention Month is in the month of October, and it's where people from across the nation and throughout the world celebrate bullying prevention and keeping our youth safe. Uh, they have World Day of Bullying Prevention is October um, four, 7th, excuse me, and Unity Day is October 23rd. Okay, cool. So we're going to talk a little bit more about Unity Day coming up in a bit, but what are some bright spots that public schools as well as some complex areas are doing for the National Bullying Prevention Month? It's really a tri-level collaboration. The state offices, complex areas, the schools and communities work together. In fact, last year at the school level, a lot of, a lot of the schools got the student council involved, had programs and assemblies, and they had a coordinated effort and incorporated bullying prevention in their school climate um, for acceptance and inclusion for all. And in fact, today, October 4th, the island of Kauai is celebrating World Day of Bullying Prevention. Oh. And so if you're on the island of Kauai today, there are banners on all the schools, the local businesses, the communities, and their campaign is Malka Tamakai, Bully Free Kauai. Ah. And everywhere, everybody's wearing the color purple, the, the um, island color, as I am in su support of their efforts. I wish I had known I would have put my purple <laughs> on. So Kauai, if you're heading outdoors, make sure you put on your purple to support. I love that. Yeah. Okay, now, of course, the community is doing really great things, but let's talk about in schools. What are different programs and policies that have been implemented to combat bullying? Well, really, when you're talking about bullying prevention, it's about early intervention and prevention. Now, research has shown that to have prevention, it's to have a school-wide social-emotional learning program, positive behavior interventions and supports, um, things like that in place in your school climate. Um, and as the state of Hawaii, we have those models in place, and also we're moving towards a multi-tiered system of support throughout all the state where we address the social, emotional, and behavioral needs of all students. Mm -hmm. And of course, we have the Speak Now anti-bullying app for any secondary student to address bullying in a, with a safe avenue uh, to report it. Wonderful. And we have talked about that app before. Again, it's a yes. free app. So if you haven't downloaded it yet or your cakey haven't, make sure you get that because it's an awesome way for them to you know, report incidents without feeling like you know, any pressure or any sort of guilt or anything like that. You know, it's yeah. a safe space. Safe space. Okay. And then you mentioned Unity Day. Can you yes. tell us a little bit more about that? Well, Unity Day is where across the nation people wear orange. It's on October 23rd this year um, in celebration of uniting to prevent bullying and for kindness, acceptance, and inclusion. Wonderful. Aside from wearing, wearing orange, though, what else can we do to support? Well, in Hawaii, on October 23rd, wear orange in the support of your schools and community. And then all of the schools, all the students and staff will have Unity wristbands with a Unity message on in orange, as I have here. Oh, cute. And then they'll have banners to pl displayed for Unity Day. Okay. So show your support for our schools and community by wearing orange. Wonderful. All right. And again, that's October 23rd? October 23rd. Okay. And our motto is... Together with Aloha, we are united for kindness, acceptance, and inclusion. I love that. It's such a wonderful message. And again, something that is being implemented in our schools. And when we're teaching our keiki this young, it can translate throughout their lives. And I mean, you know, the less bullying, obviously, the better. It's just making people more comfortable in every space that they're in. All right, well, thank you so much for joining us. And again, October 23rd, it's also getting close to Halloween. So it's a perfect excuse to break out all your orange. Yes, yes. Wonderful. All right, thank you so much for joining us and talking story about, again, National Bullying Prevention Month as well as the Unity Day that's coming up. Yes, thank you so much thank for having you. me. Thank you. Of course.